Hey everybody, Omega Alton plays Civilization VI Gathering Storm continues with our Gitarja of Indonesia playthrough. I'm thinking that if uh, if our war is going to take place over here, it would be nice to have a foothold on the continent that is one of our own cities. So if we look at like the settler view, negative two loyalty spot over here near Kumasi. With some volcanic tiles nearby, it could be acceptable. And then we could chop a bunch of these jungles out and get size to immediately, you know, be in a, a proper loyalty position to survive. So I think we want to try to drop a city over here. Maybe Palumbang should, uh, should vent venture over here. I think that that would work out for us at least. Let's see. We need to we need to explore over here, but we probably don't want to send our guys too far. I think I hit fortify. Uh, we probably don't want to send our guys too far in because. No. Oh, hello, Korea. Uh, I guess we don't have without starting open borders or whatever. We don't have very far to go in here anyway. What's our numbers? Seventy nine science. That makes sense. <clears throat> I need to take a sip of this water real quick. My throat is getting dry. 79 science, that's uh, that's pretty good. But it is Korea. She gets the special ones, so... Not too surprising. She's at 356, so... She's the top uh, top dog on the score chart that we were just looking at in the at the end of the previous episode. Okay, we have barbarians over here. We need to pick this up and then come get this. There's a lot of a uh, lot of goody huts to be had down here, which is nice. So I think that's the plan with our guy over there. We should send our quadrarium back now that I think about it, because we're we're getting the jong, and he should be able to be upgraded. Can we get Scotland to have us? Uh, Open borders with a little money on the side. Yeah. Okay, so now we'll we'll have an easier time getting him back. He doesn't have to go out of the way like he was. Nothing useful over here, but hmm. more vision on the map. Betwixt the stirrup and the ground. Okay, so you you're still going for this. Archer, come down here. They're doing good work. I believe in them. They're getting stuff done. We need swordsmen so that we can upgrade our existing warriors to swordsmen, of which we have a couple. We need to get to crossbows to get our archers upgraded. I would like to see if we can get maybe open borders with you. Let's send a delegation. Open borders. He wants gold per turn for his. Uh, you know what? I think it might be handy for us to do that anyway, so sure. Wait, what if we instead had some turtles involved in the mix. Turtles open border. There's also seven gold per turn happening. See, this is an acceptable trade, Frederick. Korea. What would you give me for these? You don't have any gold. What happened to you, Korea? What's going on in your world? 12 gold per turn? I'll take it. Alright, we, we're getting some decent uh, exchanges here. It's uh, it's their capital. It is a size 10 big boy. Does that change our loyalty at all? Still, No, our loyalty looks the same. Which is good news for us. A horseman I can probably just straight up send out there. 
and have him try to cross their continent to see what he can see. What do we want to do with you? Let's go ahead and mine this. Okay, we need to chop. And we're looking to chop. I guess come over here and chop this one. We'll put some mines down. Dude, we should buy some of these tiles too. How much does it cost to buy a settler right now? 980 or 400. So 980 gold and then it's half that amount in, in faith. So 490. We don't have the faith numbers for that, obviously. Give me another builder here. Actually, give me a trader. A builder would be nice, but a trader can start working for us immediately. I'm going to have this quadrim hang out down here to help my archer get this in a bit. He'll have to hang out for a while, I suppose. Archer's going to be moving slow and steady. All right, quadrim, you need to head back so that we can get you upgraded. The other one should head back too, probably, now that I think about it. Knocked off three turns on this bad boy. I recognize that the Inca are the master of the heights. Not exactly sure what that means, but uh, you, you believe what you want, I guess, if it makes you happy. Go ahead, man. You're the master of the heights. We don't care. <laughs> Doesn't bother us if you think that that you're the master of the, the heights. We're the master of the seas, man. The seas are inherently at uh, ocean ocean level, which would be zero feet above ground, right? <laughs> zero feet above sea level. That's where we like to hang out, man. So, you do you, brother. You do you. So, I want crossbows i want coursers and then let's figure out if we have gunpowder available for us you can focus on these so we just got another settler do we want to do we want to buy another settler somewhere with all this gold we have i know we'll want to use gold to upgrade unit upgrade units but we're getting 83 per turn we could drop a city over here and this would actually be a pretty strong spot for a campus right there and that's basically all we'd be getting from this city but Sometimes, sometimes I think it's worth it. Let's go ahead and grab that, that guy. I'm checking out this area. Seeing what we can see. But people need to start heading back, probably. Horsemen. We're going to have you go exploring, because I want to try to... I want to see if we can circumnavigate the globe. We only have to go... Oh man, I'm sending him back, but we only have to go a little more in this direction. So you know what? You have a mission, sir. Can you make it over to this spot? Look, it's it's one screen worth right here of, of unknown map territory. So we just need you to make it over there, my friend. No big deal. Get us that circumnavigation bonus. I believe in you. All right, I think I'm gonna put my campus up here, so I'm gonna chop, chop this out. Warrior, we're not upgrading yet, sir. We will upgrade you soon. Okay, we got the upgrade we needed. Let me get one more settler and then you're going to be making some more military. Kumasi, get a 
Another envoy. Let's do it. Reyna. You know we're taking Harbor Master. You're getting placed in the biggest, baddest harbor there is. Oh, and perfect timing with that shop. We get our free thing over here for Jakarta. What's our campus sitch? Dude, I love these campuses, man. You gotta go for it. Actually, so I want it. What I'm gonna do is lock it in. But I am gonna start with uh, Granary, Monument, and then the campus. Just to give this place a little, uh, a little bonus from the the session we're currently in. Okay, you've done all the work you really need to do over here. We've been granted a recon unit. Beautiful. You know he's got to come down here. Get the spear. You can't grow anymore? That's unfortunate. We'll have to get you some farms, my friend. Some farms for you. Make sure that you're fed. Oh, you've decided that now you're capable of it. I see how it is. You just lied to me last turn. But now you're uh, you're perfectly fine with what's happening. Let's work on a builder. So, what's our landscape like over here for an assault? Is that ship gonna be good enough? I'm I'm gonna send you via land because I I'm I'm nervous about this. So I want to try to get somebody across. Just to make sure we get all that juicy era score. You gotta hunt for every bit of era score you can in this, uh, this day and age. It don't come easy. Give me this tile. I'm not gonna chop it, I'm gonna put a plantation down. So, I think the major benefit, uh, long term. Or short term is with our special building is that we get housing from it. It, it you have to have like a really good sea resource set up for one of them to, to be like insanely good. I'm just saying out loud why I think I'm not investing heavily in them right now because right now they don't seem to at the current moment they don't seem to be paying off a ton for us. The Vatendemir. I was trying to read that. I was like, well, what kind of German nonsense is this? I'm sorry, it's not nonsense. It's just not English. <laughs> I know that that's not nonsense. All right, let's go drop this city right here because this is going to be just a nice campus for us. That's basically a one-trick pony city right there. I'm fine with that. You, you delegation. Your delegation is welcome. Okay, where were we gonna get? We were gonna buy another builder here to try to beef up our city's growth potential. Give me a library. Mercenaries is imminent. Imminent mercenaries. Okay, our horse, he's doing good things. Archer. Checking out the area. Let's just, let's keep all our guys nearby. This got hurt by flooding, I think. Not somebody attacking it. Alright, dude. Uh, I'm gonna send you east. Because there's still plenty to explore over there where we haven't touched any of it, you know? Give me this tile as well. Our capital deserves all these tiles more than everyone else. No doubt in my mind that that's true. Inkins, do you want to give me any... 
Money for dies. Ten per turn. Do you need turtles? I'm probably already trading you turtles. Four per turn for turtles. You know what? You gave me ten per turn for the other. We'll even it out. For, we'll say it's seven per turn each. You got yourself a deal. You got yourself a deal, brother. All right, we're sending you over this way. I'm just gonna have you run there. I'm manually controlling you because I, I did see barbarians on that island before. What's what's our likely suspect for ways of getting further west? I think going south is probably the smart play there. I have to assume that going north is going to be a dead end. Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Always bringing your umbrella to, to meetings. You're always prepared for, uh, you know, if the weather was to turn south. Normal people believe you're having military emergencies passed against you. What's going on with you? This is not. Uh, this is not like you. I just met you. But this is not like you. Right, we're making friends with the Incans because they're they're not our, our target right now. I declare this to be the case. Is Lisbon? Lisbon is our friend, so I can go through their territory just fine. Okay, my dude. Let's hit up this spot with farms. Farmage. Horsemen, we're waiting over here on some upgrades, so you just chill. Warrior, let's head back. Archer, let's head back. Scout, you can continue doing your thing. I have no problems with that. I have no quarrel with you, sir. Okay, we're having you go to this one now. Oh, we're look at how close we're getting to circumnavigating the globe. A beautiful day for our empire. Being a mercenary, though. Unless I get stopped right before it, that would be a, a, a terrible time for our empire. Okay, we're moving to urban planning up here. We don't even want urban planning, probably. But I don't see a better pickup for us from the from this right now. The economic policies. What we do want is cheaper upgrades and we need to be making another horse unit somewhere perhaps you can make a horseman next turn as we are at the capacity for our horse resources you're gonna make a knight once you're done with this you can upgrade All right, one envoy. Don't have anything for one that really gets us anywhere. Oh, he's here. He's ready. Where's our other boy? There he is. Head on over, my friend. Mount up. All right, so maybe we should just farm this spot, but we don't own all these tiles. It would get us more benefits if we did it that way. All right, Scout, I want you... I'm going to put you just straight up on Explore. And you go do your own thing. I don't, I don't need to be dictating your life story. So this, this is a potential good spot for the, uh, the unique improvement. It's got two sea resources next to it, but they do have to have fishing boats for it to get the the full extent of the bennies. Oh, he's done it! <laughs> We've circumnavigated the globe, and it didn't even look like... I guess we know about Amsterdam, and that counted for filling in the gap there. So thank you, Amsterdam. Thank you, Wilhelmina, for your kind support. There will be no trades with you, Wilhelmina, and I know how much you hate that. But 
we need all these resources. You don't even understand how how we operate. If you if you had any idea how we operate, you would not ask me for such a thing. Give me this tile. And let's put a farm there. There we go. Alright, I guess I can send him back now. He doesn't need to continue to push in here. Because we want to get him upgraded to the next tier, which is coming up soon. So, let's take a look. It's a plus seven. Holy crap. Alright, we're going to chop this. <laughs> And you are going to put down that beautiful plus seven right there. We should maybe get some other improvements for you, but I don't I don't know. You're living a, a very weird lifestyle over there. I think owning turtles is almost always worth it. In life and in civilization. Hello, my barbarian scout friend. Do not alert your compatriots. I am here to, to gather this thing and leave. All right, you, you need to just head back, dude. Head back to Bogor. <gasps> Our campus. I'd imagine the whole world is Our six history. Is the Recorded history is here as well. A glorious day. Natural philosophy, you go in here. And you love it. We will keep our cheaper discount thing active. Governors, give me more money from our tax collecting. We should probably pick up uh, theology because it'll let us make temples, which will up our... Our science is going to good places right now. Our culture is at 46, and we can always upgrade that with, uh, you know, holy site buildings. So I think that's the way we roll. You still need more upgrades here, my friend. So give me another builder. Let's get these going. How far off are we from being friends with Kumasi? We need one more envoy. Next turn we get a, an envoy. So, I mean, there you have it. That's all we need. Our scout can be upgraded if we send him home. So let's send him over here. Just wanna, oh wait, where's our, where's our exploring? How do I do this? There's a way, where's our scout? He's here. Okay. Let's turn him into a skirmisher. <laughs> I don't want him running around without uh, proper upgrades for my, my son. So this is making this tile a lot better, but it's still not amazing. I'm not, I'm not mad at this tile, by the way. I like it. It's a reasonable tile. It's just not... Uh, not the greatest thing you've ever seen by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, we're gonna go get these turtles. Why Why would you have stopped there, my friend? You know better. Archers can be upgraded. Dude, we need so much cash, but we're getting... We're getting 124 per turn, which is fine. I like Some to might say even I say that's pretty good. Envoys to Kamasi. I wanted them because they are going to be close to where... Oh, look how, much, how much does it cost to levy them? 540? Levying them would be scary, potentially, in that... Uh, we don't have a strong Envoy lead over there. Alright, so our galley has reported for duty let's just work on getting all of our upgrades 
And then we'll go in. So, Germany has no walls. We see that Scotland at least has some walls. But Germany has no walls in any of the cities we've seen. They might be a, a decent target for us. Your delegation is welcome, my dude. The four uh, especially if we're if we're going heavy on these uh, mounted units, these cavalry of a heavy and light variety. We can make some stuff work there. Is this a fishing boat? There's no fishing boat here. There should definitely have been a fishing boat there. Naval tradition, it gets us an envoy. It also gives us the ability to boost our harbors. Which could come in handy. Give me my temple. Actually, you know what? Our horses are to such a level. Give me a horseman. And yes, we're good. One envoy, not going to be necessary. So you can upgrade from here. I'm going to put you there. Actually, you, you can upgrade in our territory once I drop this nice little city down. Spend our iron. You're not going to have enough iron to make the... The knight you wanted to make, so I will remove that and we'll figure out what to do next with you, which will be make a horseman. Make that horseman. Alright, uh, you, sir. Let me go plop down a charge there. Okay, we'll put some farms down. You're gonna return home, dude. I, I, I'm i nervous about you being out here. This island is filled with barbarian rabble. We saw a scout, we saw a swordsman at least along the way. We got our first special ship. So unfortunately, the ship is not going to do us a whole lot of good over here. It will help us with Scotland. It will help us to secure our seas. So for that, I am grateful. Oh, here you go. He's doing it. This is a good spot for a, a kampung. Pong. But we need you to just be chopping. Oh lord, he chopping. Give me this tile. And, uh... I'll take this tile as well. And, uh... I'll also take this tile. Oh lord, he chopping. Give me a granary. Actually, you know what? You get walls first. You're in a precarious position, and we might even get you some sort of encampment to work with. I could see that working. Okay, our farms are going in. Dude, you've done great work. It's time for you to return. To return home as well. It's time for you to return. Also, Galley, you come back here. Just run on back. I believe in you. We are going to upgrade you guys. We're going to send you west. Apologies, sir. I don't mean to be... Same with you. Apologies. I don't mean to be expanding over here. I never intended to cause you guys any disrespect. But I will. I will be chopping all of your, your stuff up over here. Which is now my stuff because I have settled here. 
It no longer belongs to you. You may have thought it to be yours, but that's just not how things operate anymore. This is my turf. I'm going to drop a, a mine down. Sir? Which tiles are we using? We have a decent amount of production that I think maybe we can chop this. Just to add more room for... I don't know. Activities. There's so much room for activities over here. Dude, you need to come down to the Giant's Causeway and get your own bennies. Also, we have a settler. Okay, settler. Let's, uh... Let's go down here. We were thinking that this spot right here would be a good campus because there's reefs on both sides so what would this would probably be the ideal spot to be for for this uh particular setup we're going for give me a temple please i need to boost my culture and faith output both of them the very important for us both of so we're now six points away from our next age which is a good place to be I gotta say. Having an admiral would be nice. We, we talked about this before. Great people. We're working on an admiral. Netherlands are getting 8 per turn. We're getting 3.4 per turn. We could potentially buy one. That's got a nice retirement bonus. The plus 3 combat strength for all naval units. That's, that's kind of... I, I don't know. I like it. I don't have negative things to say about it. It's pretty good. Better than a lot of the old ones that I remember, for sure. What if we go for Reformed Church to make buying things with faith cheaper? I think we could live with that. If we could get one more point for... Ngaza... Urugamu... We could, uh, we could Susie that up. We love Susieing things up. Oh, give me this. Yes. Okay, so I think we want an encampment for you. This spot seems like a reasonable one. It protects you. Covers both ways. I mean, we could just instead be super hyper aggressive with it and do like... Boom. Boom. Encampment. I don't know if we needed it that close to Haddington, to be honest with you, but... <laughs> I felt I felt like going for it. Let's get another uh, builder over here to help us out. When we have a spot for one more builder, how about we get a builder here? I know we can be using Faith, by the way to be uh, purchasing naval units. I just, if you're seeing the same thing I'm seeing right now, I don't think we need to be going too crazy with those naval units. Obviously, we want to have a nice, strong navy. But navy is not going to be winning us these battles. It'll be winning us the battle with Haddington, but it's not going to be winning us the battle with Germany. That's unfortunate, but it is the truth of the matter. Okay, you guys are around waiting for your upgrades patiently. Oh, Swolgamesh, best of friends. Let me go ahead and send you a friend request, my dude. Check your DMs. I'm sliding right in. There we go. There's my delegation DM. Okay, so we want a crossbowman. We're just going to start taking these guys and giving them upgrades whenever, whenever it makes sense. We start with the utter decimation of the area here. We chop everything out. 
we chop it all out. Our city's getting nice and fat. It can already have another benefit, but we should pick up the monument probably once we're done with this tier. All right, my dude, let's uh, let's hit this up. Fishing boats. Spices. Yeah, I don't really like that deal, but I'll give it to you. Oh, Gilgamesh. We should trade with Gilgamesh. He loves us. Our holy site. Our holy site put us over the top. It gave us three points and, and put us uh, into Golden Age territory. Which, you know, maybe I've gone a little too aggress aggressively into it, but we are here now. Would you like some turtles? No. Would you like some spices? No. You have turtles. I see this. That's my bad. That's my bad for wasting your time, sir. Okay. You don't need anything? Fair enough. Get your shrine. You don't have our religion yet, so you don't get the full benefit, but... Squirtle is spread... <laughs> Squirtle is spreading. It's doing it on its own. There's our skirmisher. Does every... We need... I'm pretty sure everybody has the spear upgrade. But if somebody doesn't, that would make me look very foolish. They're not living that upgrade lifestyle. And what are we even doing with our lives? Okay, he's just going to chill here for now. This is a good spot for him to be. He's out here chopping each and everything. Although maybe this woods we want a lumber mill. Oh, there it is, brother. We have our encampment down. We're size six over here. Size six it up. Give me a harbor. What kind of a what kind of campus can we make over here? That's basically your shoddiest of, of campuses. You, why would you even think about that? Although, oh, we wanted to put our campong here. <laughs> We're getting greedy for camp i don't know well i still think the plus four is probably better than the bonus we get from the camp one, but I, I could be wrong i gotta say it's it's highly possible no we're not trading those away so we are nearing our war time by the way if you were you're like hey there's no been no war it's because i started on my own continent i started on my own continent and i had to get i had to get myself established and i think you can consider ourselves perhaps established at this point. He's got the spear bonus. Where's our... Ah, here's our friend. He's almost back. Looking good, looking good. What are you doing? Oh, you... Here, let's bring you along with us. If we're going to war over here... You can provide us with some uh, some assistance. Where's this man going? That's right. We wanted to drop something down there. I recall this uh, to be a fact. All right. Let's go ahead and upgrade a lot of these tiles. City's looking nice. It's got uh, it's got some things going for it. It does need to get more food because it is not growing anymore. But when you chop down all that rainforest, you grow real fast. He's nice and tall now. He's ready for anything. Mausoleum is nearly done. Eight turns on that. That's cool. Uh, we have a session coming up. Let's check out the world rankings, though. It's looking like we're in a pretty good spot for science. There's a couple people ahead of us. 84 science per turn up at the top. They claim that uh, Gilgamesh is there with 50. Because he's got 28 te uh, text research, which is an impressive amount. But he's not getting 98 science per turn like our friend Vilhelmina is. Or 95, which Korea has. 
Or 65, which Scotland is doing. 52 for the Phoenicians, 39 for the Incans, 44 for the Germans. So I'm thinking Germans and Scottish are probably prime targets for us here. The thing I like about the Germans over here is I think that maybe our loyalty situation could be best. Um, in that I think we could capture these cities relatively quickly. Their capital has no walls. None of their cities have walls that, that are exposed to us, at least over here. So I feel like we could move in relatively quickly and get a lot done. Which is a thing to take into account. Although, if we know more about Scotland, it may be the same. He has the town of Scone, but we can always bombard Scone with, uh, with delicious uh, jellies. No, we can, uh, we can hit... Or some clotted cream. Mmm, that'd be good. Uh, we could hit them with uh, the Jong. We could hit you with the Jong. So it, the benefit of attacking Scotland is is that we can go after them here. What's their... Uh, so the Scottish are in a, a Golden Age right now. What's our Golden Age timeline? Let me open this once again. Turns until the next era is 10. I guess I, I just forgot that that was happening. But that's happening, so... 10 turns from now might be the ideal time to start a war with uh, with them. Maybe they don't land a Golden Age. I'm hoping that... So we're getting a Golden Age. If they don't get a Golden Age, if Germany doesn't get a Golden Age, it's the perfect time to attack. Uh, so that's, that's what we're hoping for over here. Back to culture. We're getting 60 culture per turn. Incans are at 42. 58 from Germany. 32 for the Phoenicians. 37 for Scotland, 35 for Korea, 44 for the Dutch, 26 for the Sumerians. So we are in a good spot for that. We're basically at the top of the chart for it. Tourism, I don't whatever, people aren't going crazy, but we should probably actually look at the cultural thing at some point. Score-wise, we are at 357, which puts us in fifth place, but it's only 409 points at the top. So we're not too far off. Poor Gilgamesh, man. What happened to you, brother? So 41 or 39 is the number of tourism or tourists you need right now. No one's made any progress. Religion, no one's making any progress there. Diplomacy, two is the max. So it's going well. I think we're in a we're in a position of power right now. We're going to be upgrading our guys, and then the the age transition is really where we're going to see what our opportunities are. Uh, but that's going to be it for this one, guys. Like the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. I just noticed it's 1AD up there as well. And I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>